the LNC-2, by 64 seconds, is an advanced leak noise correlator. It pinpoints invisible and inaudible leaks in underground pipes from sensors placed at remote locations like hydrants and valves. LNC-2 pinpoints leaks anywhere, including busy or inaccessible areas. It can be used during the day or unattended at night. LNC-2 can efficiently survey many pipeline miles per day. LNC-2s carry cases rugged, lightweight, and compact. A base and up to four sensors are stored in the dock. Each unit is powered by a lithium battery, running for a week on a full charge or about six months on the shelf. Plug in the auto or wall charger and the dock LEDs will illuminate. It's okay to leave the dock on overnight charge when it's not in use. Recharge the base using the USB-C power cable and power adapter. Please only use the charger that comes with the unit. Sensors and base turn on and off with a magnet. Cap screw into the sensor top, finger tight, to make it waterproof. A sensor can be used on asphalt by magnetically attaching to its ground plate. LNC2 works with any Apple iPhone or iPad with Bluetooth 5. In the WPN2 application, tap Tools. Then tap LNC. You may be asked to confirm your base serial number. Enter the five digits from the base label and tap Confirm. In the LNC2 main view, you can browse existing LNC deployments. At first, you'll only see the simulation deployment, but the app will save every LNC deployment you make. Setup has three steps. One, name your deployment. Two, pick the number of recordings, one, two, or three. Multiple recordings are useful to distinguish leaks from disturbances, like usage transients or environmental noise, like nighttime sprinklers or traffic. For more than one recording, choose the interval between recording starts. An interval of 30 seconds to two minutes is typical during the day. Five or 30 minutes can be useful at night. 3. Pick the start time of the first recording. During the day, that's often a countdown of 2 to 6 minutes. To schedule recording up to 24 hours in the future, select a time, then tap Save Date Time. Now you can tap Start Deploying Sensors. Prior to deploying a sensor, you can listen to the sound at the sensor by tapping the headphone icon next to the Deploy button. In the next view, tap the record button, which will play the sound at the sensor in real time. With the base nearby for syncing, tap the deploy button next to the red sensor. Now you can tap the detail button to add a note about the sensor's location or associate a sensor with an asset by tapping on a map icon. Tap to deploy the yellow sensor. You can deploy as many sensors as you like during the pre-recording countdown. You can also associate a sensor with an asset by selecting the asset from a list. It is important to remember to avoid making noise near the sensors while they are recording. After recording is completed, approach each sensor, one at a time, with the base and iPad to read its recorded data. Tap on the Read button to download the recorded data. You can move the sensor during the reading process. The dots under the progress bar represent the number of recordings taken during this deployment. In this case, three recordings. If for any reason you want to stop reading the sensor, tap the X next to the progress bar. You can resume reading at any time. Once all sensors have been read, tap the Analyze button. The first of the six correlations pairs the red and yellow sensors on hydrants H430 and H432. The map shows the shortest pike route. The red and yellow paths meet at the suspected leak, which corresponds to the highest peak in the graph. The exact sensor leak distances are shown, 306.5 feet from the red sensor and 299.5 feet from the yellow sensor. Double tap the graph to see other peak locations. Tap the action button to select the main peak or hide peak markers. The number in the center is the correlation score, which ranges from 0 to 100. The higher the number, the higher the confidence in the leap location. If you selected multiple recordings during deployment, 
You can view each of them individually by selecting one, two, or three. You can change the filters here. High resolution special processing is the default setting. It suppresses background noise and focuses on continuous leak sound. Tap Pipe Info, then tap the information icon for the pipe route to view, add, or edit pipe section data. Tap on the action button to rename the deployment. Jot down some notes about the recording and replay the sound recorded at each sensor. If you select Replay Sound, you can listen to each sensor while manipulating the filter settings. Check out the 64 second support center by exiting LNC and tapping on support. Here you can browse tutorials, guides, and videos. You can send a support question directly to us and we will respond within 24 hours. For more information, please go to our website or send us an email.